The iPhone 6s was released a little more than three months ago, and I've been using it almost exclusively since it came out. Long story short, I love this phone. It offers a really complete package, which is hard to come by these days. Most phones have at least one drawback that dampens the overall experience. Of course, there are still plenty of improvements to be made, but overall, this is a very comprehensive device. This isn't going to be like my old phone reviews, I used to just go through feature to feature, talk about it and my experience with it, but that just bores me to death, so instead I'm going to talk about the standout features of this phone, whether they are good or bad, the things that you will most likely notice when using this device. Starting with speed, it's running iOS 9 and it is damn fast. Like possibly the fastest and most fluid phone I've ever used. It never stutters, it multitasks like a champ, and it can handle any game you throw at it. This is thanks to the A9 chipset inside, as well as the 2 gigs of RAM, which are both significantly more powerful than previous generations. Despite more and more features coming out, iOS is still not that hard of an operating system to run, and one of those features that came out recently is Force Touch. Simply put, I don't use it. It's cool, but it hasn't been adopted widely enough to convince me to adapt to it completely. I literally only use it when people ask me about it. I mentioned speed first because speed has the biggest effect on user experience. You'll never find yourself wishing that it was a faster phone, it's always more than fast enough for what you need it for. And speaking of speed, let's talk about Touch ID. Touch ID is now stupidly fast, and I actually mean that, it's almost too fast for its own good. If you want to see your lock screen, don't use your thumb on the home button, either use a different finger or use the power button because Touch ID will open the phone with even a quick press of your thumb. On the topic of buttons, the design and button layout of the phone is the same as last year, which is both good and bad. Yes, you still have the fantastic aluminum build quality, but you also still have the slippery edges. I've addressed this by using a case for the first time in years. I always swore that cases were bad, but my experience has been very positive with the Vessel case so far, and I'll have a dedicated review up of it in a couple of days. But yeah, the Vessel case matches the gold aluminum and has some wood sides that make the phone a lot easier to grip. And since it's only a bumper style case, you still get the naked aluminum back of the iPhone, which is very attractive. And of course, it's my personal opinion, but I think the case adds to the overall appearance. Now I want to talk about seemingly underpowered specs. The iPhone gets constantly criticized for having a low resolution screen and a small battery. So let's start with the screen. The display on the iPhone 6S is only a tad over 720p, and while that may seem subpar, trust me, it's fine. Obviously it's not as good as 1080p, but I'll prove to you that it's fine. Set this video to 4K resolution and make it full screen. Now tell me, does this screen look bad? Obviously it does not, Apple may lose in a spec war, but especially with a smaller 4.7 inch screen, it still has enough pixel density to look great. And with less pixels to push, that leads to a better battery life. Just kidding. The battery in the iPhone 6S is absolutely horrible, and if I don't plug it in for 20 or so minutes every day, it will die before the end of the day. I can make it last by closing my apps constantly and watching what I'm doing on my iPhone, but that just gets in the way of the user experience. I shouldn't have to adjust the way I use my phone to the subpar battery life. The battery should just work for whatever way I use my phone, as long as I'm not doing anything ridiculous with it. Getting back to some positives, let's talk camera. The iPhone 6S got bumped up to a 12 megapixel camera, and it is Good. Apple has some of the best image processing in the market. Photos almost always look good on auto, so you can easily capture any moment. Live photos are cool, but gimmicky. And the 6S also got bumped up to 240 FPS slow motion and 4K video, which are much appreciated additions. Unfortunately, the camera bump is also back. I cracked the lens of two of the iPhone 6S's I've used because of this hump. Fortunately, the vessel case fixes this by adding just enough depth to allow the phone to lay flat on a table, and if you drop it, the case will prevent the lens from having a direct impact on the surface, so you're good to go. Another negative is the speaker. The speaker itself isn't horrible, but its design is. Once again, Apple has it facing downwards, which doesn't help anybody. At least it isn't on the back of the phone, but front-facing speakers are the future, and Apple needs to get on that. And the final thing I'm going to mention, perhaps the biggest negative of them all, is the price. The baseline 16 gigabyte model for the 6S is still $650 off contract. That is just unacceptable in a market where you can get a powerful phone like the Nexus 6P for under $500. It just doesn't work. So in conclusion, the iPhone 6S is an overpriced phone dragged down by battery life, speaker placement, and slipperiness. 
You are, however, getting a silky smooth user experience and a top-notch camera, and that slipperiness can be fixed with a case like the Vessel Case or a skin, whichever you prefer. So those were the things that mattered the most to me. Obviously, there are parts of the phone and features that I didn't mention, so let me know if I missed anything that I should have mentioned in the comments below. And I had a lot more fun doing this type of phone review rather than just going feature to feature. It was just more entertaining to talk about the things that actually affected my daily use with the phone. So let me know what you think about that down below. Thank you for watching, subscribe to see more content, and as always, stay classy.